might as well test the shattered one as well. What's up everybody, Average Joe here and welcome to another Average video where we're going to be doing some average testing outside. Basically what we're going to do real quick is test the brand new 415 watt Sirius bifacial solar panels and see how they do in full cloud cover, okay? It's basically one o'clock so the sun is directly above us right over there behind all those clouds. So this is what our conditions are today, okay? How much can we get out of the 415 watt Sirius bifacial solar panels? Uh, basically, I just wanted to do this real quick because we do have cloud cover for the first time in like a week. So it's perfect time to do that. And then right after that, I'm gonna set up for another test, which will be another video. Basically, somebody made the suggestion before I make a final decision on whether to do a roof mount array or a ground mount array is possibly setting up a couple panels down here and setting a couple up on the roof and then let it go for a couple of days and just kind of see what kind of production we have. So that's gonna be the next video, which I'm gonna set up for right after, right after this video, really. That's about it. So what we'll do real quick is take some temperature readings. Temperature outside is like 77 degrees. It's nice and cool, slight breeze. Uh, we'll take some temperature readings of the panel and then we'll just measure it with my L-Joy solar panel tester. All right, and you can see I'm gonna have them set up right back here, leaning up against the other array. There's some sirens going on. I have one perfect panel and then we might as well test the shattered panel, right? Might as well. All right, so then we'll test the top side and then we'll flip them over and test the bottom side. All right, let's get to it. Uh, first thing we'll do obviously is check the normal facing side and then we'll flip it over and check the other side. Temperatures outside are around 77 degrees and we'll also take a temperature reading of the panels. I don't know if you can read that, but it basically says 75.5 which is 24 degrees Celsius. I'll just take a couple averages here real quick. So we got 76.5, 77, 77.5, 79, okay? I would imagine it's gonna get warmer, you know, as it sits out here, okay? So again, just like in the last video, we'll hook it up to the L-Joy, and this is the EY1600W. All right, hooking up the positive. And here is the negative, and we're gonna hit the auto MPPT. Boom, there we go. All right, VOC is 34.98, and we are only getting 90.33 watts. Voltage is 31.26, and we're getting 2.9 amps. All right, that's complete cloud cover. I'll let it sit here for a minute and see if it improves or gets worse. All right, it's pretty consistent at 103.4 watts. Voltage under load is 31.26, and we're getting 3.31 amps. VOC, as you can see, is 34.94. All righty, now on to the shattered panel, and we'll take a couple temperature readings. Looks like we've gone up just a little bit, so we're 80.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 26.8 degrees C. Let me just take a couple random, random guys here. We got 83, there's an 85.5, but the majority of it is around 82 to 83 degrees. Okay, alrighty, here we go. Boom. VOC is 33.57. Ooh, look at that. Only 42.28 watts, 27 volts, 1.57 amps. So a little under half of the other panel. Alrighty, I'll let this one sit here for a minute and see if it improves or gets worse. All right, so we're pretty consistent with 43 to 44 watts, 27.3 volts and one and a half amps. That's basically half of what a regular panel will do. All right, let me flip these panels over and we'll check the backside. All right, next up is the backside, and of course we will take some temperature measurements. So that is reading 87 degrees Fahrenheit or 30.4 degrees Celsius. Just take a couple of averages here. 
We've got 87, 88, 89, 88. All right, so I would say the average is 88 degrees. All right, connecting it up, and we'll hit auto and PPT. So VOC is 34.4, 53.97 watts, 31.38 volts, and 1.72 amps. All right, it's basically half of the upright facing side. All right, I'll let this sit here for a minute, and we'll see if it gets better or worse. All right, I would say it's pretty consistent at 54 watts. Voltage is 31.4, and we get roughly 1.74 amps. Not too bad, basically half of the front side. All right, next up is the back side of the shattered panel. And honestly, if you're just looking at the back, you really can't tell that it's shattered, which is pretty cool. Anyway, we'll take some temperature readings. That says 85 degrees freedom. 29.4 C. I would say an average of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we go. All right, 27.94, which is basically half of what the other panel can do. That's crazy. 28.46, 26.36 volts, and we're getting a hair over one amp. I mean, honestly, that's not real bad for a completely shattered panel. All right, I'll let it sit there for a minute and we'll see what it does. All right, I would say we're pretty consistent at 29 watts, 25 volts, and a little over one amp. I mean, honestly, that's not as bad as I, I guess I thought it would be. All righty, well, there you go, test complete. I don't think that was too bad for 100% cloud cover, honestly. Uh, we're basically getting a quarter of the rated output. So these are rated at 400 and that bug is really, really loud. Uh, we're basically getting uh, about 100 watts thereabout out of a 415 watt panel. So about a quarter of its rated output. And then for the backside, uh, I already forgot what we were getting, but it's basically a quarter as well. All right, basically half of what we got on the front. And then for the, the shattered panel, obviously it's not gonna do very much, but it didn't do too bad. So it basically did um, half of what the original panel would do for both top and bottom, which honestly I thought was gonna be a lot worse. So other people mentioned maybe using it for, you know, recharging portable power stations, stuff like that, which is exactly what I was thinking. So maybe I'll keep it around for that. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got. If anybody's looking for, you know, these solar panels again, I'm gonna have them linked down below. They're from Signature Solar. Uh, they're basically $187 a piece, but you have to order a minimum of 10. But I do have that $50 off coupon code, which is Average Joe 10 uh, basically for any purchase that's over $500, basically throughout their entire store. Well, I'm gonna get set up for the next video, so if this video was helpful in any way, don't forget to like that smash button on your way out, and I'll see you on the next All right, now on to the shattered panel. Again, we'll take a couple of temperature, yeah. um, but, but, but,